Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about lighting and world environment in Godot 3. So by default, in your file system or your resources, you're going to see a default underscore env. And if you double click this, you'll see a bunch of properties in here. You'll see background, ambient light, fog, you'll see all of these properties in here. Now, this is a combination of effects. There's two notable things related to lighting here. So in some other engines, you can just make a mesh that'll act as your skybox, and then you can put a material on there. And then with that, you can have that affect the overall lighting. Now additionally in other engines, you can place something known as a skylight. In a way, that's what the ambient light is. You could keep using the default environment, but I wanna walk you through the steps of how to build this up yourself. So we wanna add a node, and what we're looking for is world environment. And as soon as you add that, you'll notice that it has a caution sign. And that's because we don't have an environment yet. So we can add a new environment through this dropdown, or you can go to your resource panel and you can add a new resource. And you want to look for environment. We'll give it a name. And then once we save that, click on your world environment and we can drag and drop that into the empty slot. Right away, you'll see that your lighting is not as pretty as it was before. And that's because there's settings to adjust in the environment. So go into the environment and in your background, you'll see that there's modes. We have quite a few options in here. Clear color, custom color, sky, color sky, canvas, what we want is sky. And once again, in the sky property, we have an empty slot. And we can add either a panorama sky or a procedural sky. And in this case, we'll add a procedural sky. But I'm going to make a resource for it. We'll do new resource. And we're going to look for procedural sky. And we'll give it a name. Save it. And then in your environment, we're going to put that procedural sky into sky. And already, you can see that we're back to the default. In your procedural sky, you'll see a few settings. There's sky, ground, sun, and texture. So in sky, you can change the top color and the horizon color. You can also change how that fall off happens. Change the energy contribution. You can change the color of the ground. And then you can also change the overall color of the sun. And then behind the scenes, this is all rendering to a texture. So you can adjust the resolution of this. Now the radiance size, this is the texture that actually controls the influence of the sky. Lower it or you can raise it. Now back in your environment, we also have ambient light. And with this, we can control the energy. We can control the contribution overall. And we can change the color if we want it. But it doesn't seem like it's working right now. The rest of the stuff in here aren't necessarily lighting. So we're not gonna go over that in this video but we will cover them in the future. All right guys, that covers world environment and lighting. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.